Yeah, this is the uh, My Antennas EFW uh, the EFHW 8010 and uh, this is my latest installation of it and it really works great um, I'm feeding it with LMR 600 that I happen to have Here's my ground rod. There's the coax going into the shack. And you can see here the shack's not very far away. It's about 20 feet away. So uh, the, the wire is 130 feet long. And it goes up about 55 feet. There's the little coil. Let's see if I can show you the rest of it. You can see that wire there. It goes up 55 feet and then out for the remaining length. Let's see if we can take a look at the far end of it. Yeah, there's the insulator. So, let's go out here a little farther. up there in the tree, almost 60 feet high, is where it bends. So I guess technically it's an inverted L, and um, it covers 80 through 10 meters, and the SWR is quite low on every band, a little bit high on 10 meters, nothing that a uh, your internal antenna tuner won't take care of. Um, I did a lot of easy neck computer modeling on it and uh, after trying about five different configuration arrangements I, uh, I got a dog problem over here but uh, after about five different configurations, I ended up with the um, one you see here. Now this is my other antenna up here. And this is the center fed ZEP, or 80 meter doublet, fed with ladder line. And it's 130 feet across also. But it's pretty much horizontal, except for the other end does slope a little bit. So the mast is uh, 45 feet. And uh, this end up here is at the uh, about 55 feet or so. So there it is. And there is the inverted L coming down the opposite direction. I've spent many, many hours running comparison tests on multiple bands, A and B, back and forth, using the reverse beacon. and. Uh, measuring signal strength between the two antennas uh, that are recorded by the reverse beacon system. And um, in this configuration with the inverted L, the, uh, the inverted L usually does better than the ZEP, which is kind of amazing. But it took a lot of finagling to, to finally come up with this arrangement. And uh, I get just the right amount of low angle radiation, especially on 20 meters. It really does much better than the dipole. Now it is slightly directional, and like every antenna, it's going to have a favored set of directions. And what I intend to do is leave this one here, and I may take down the dipole and just get another one of these my antennas from myantennas.com and run it in the same manner but in the opposite direction so it would be pretty much where this dipole was so they would be at right angles to each other so I can switch back and forth and uh, 
and also I can use them against each other for uh, uh, diversity with my K3S. So that's the uh, the latest uh, update here on the my antennas infed half wave 8010 it's called and again that's from myantennas.com and uh, I will say this that I run 500 watts and only one time on uh, 80 meters did I see a problem that uh, I was pushing the limit and it was a very very long-winded CW QSO uh, which puts more strain on the uh, on the uh, transformer than sideband would. So that was with 500 watts. And I started seeing the SWR creep up on it a bit. So uh, I would definitely on, on 80 uh, try to keep the power down to uh, oh maybe a couple hundred watts on really really long transmissions. That's very unusual. I, mean, I was probably transmitting for 10 minutes at a time. <clears throat> so uh, the LMR600 is almost loss free at HF and I do have a tuner that I can kick in uh, MFJ998 at the rig and if my SWR like on on 80 meters up at the high end it gets it gets up close to 3 to 1 if you go up on you know close to 4 megahertz it gets up there a little bit so uh, there's almost no loss on this stuff and uh, it's expensive I got it free <laughs> but uh, I've got about 150 feet of it and uh, it goes into this uh, shack here through that and then um, on into the house so I've got a switch in the shack that I can tap into it in the in the shop in here when I want to use the rig out in the shop and there it is I got two of them one for each antenna and it runs along the uh, foundation of the house here I can show you where it goes in right there got a ground rod here also and a couple of holes for the LMR 600 great coax it's uh, it comes with in connectors and if you want to put a connector on you've got to uh, have a crimper so like I said I got it free from a, a demolition of a, uh, a Wi-Fi system so there you go Thanks for watching.